Big thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. You can enhance your PC performance with Opera GX. But you know what? You don't have to start fresh. Opera GX. That's right, fuckers. This video is sponsored. If this video doesn't make you hate Opera GX, I don't know what will. I don't know if they have to employ child slaves like Sheen in order to get you to boycott them or to be anti-Opera GX, but hopefully after watching this video, you can carefully consider the fact that, hey, maybe this company is doing some unethical things. Hey, maybe this company sucks. Hey, maybe the YouTuber who turned down money because he doesn't support Opera GX actually has a reason to why he doesn't like it. Anyway, no talking throughout this video, only listening. Zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket. I need all hands on deck and I need everybody listening. All right, so last night, I was trying to watch a show on my Netflix account, but because I guess for some reason I use the maximum number of devices with this account, even though I literally pay for this service, I guess that's not good enough anymore. I guess paying for the service doesn't mean I get it anymore. Maybe I have to give the CEO of Netflix a lap dance or something, a kiss on the lips, some weird Epstein Island shit. I don't know, but I literally couldn't watch the show I was trying to watch. I was trying to watch you and I literally couldn't. I spent about 15 minutes trying to get into my own account and I couldn't watch it. So I had to use a website that I use sometimes when my Netflix isn't working, which I will not name because I think if I name this website, I might get in trouble with YouTube or something, but it's a website that offers Netflix content, but without paying for it. And how this website stays up and running is it kind of bombards you with ads. A lot of these ads are like NSFW. A lot of them are crap, you know, fake pop-ups saying like, oh, you have a virus and you need to download this fucking virus remover, whatever. It's usually just garbage, right? And so you close the tabs that pop up and whatever. And I noticed that at one point, one of the ads that popped up was for Opera GX. And my first thought is like, okay, hold on a second, this website is basically borderline illegal, and Opera GX is advertising on there? I mean, what? That should just tell you they do not care about the law. They will collect your data, they will sell you out to the Chinese Communist Party, and that's not even the worst part. Well, I mean, it might be the worst part depending on how hard you value your data or whatever, but to me, the worst part about this was that I closed the Opera GX pop-up, and about 30 seconds later, it opens a new Opera GX pop-up, but this time it's not even just advertising the product to me. It downloads itself onto my laptop laptop. It starts a download for the Opera GX setup. Dude, it fucking downloaded itself. Oh, hey, did you consent to downloading our product? No? Well, doesn't matter. We're going to download ourselves onto your computer. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it, dude. Opera GX is paying for advertisements on piracy websites, and the, the advertisements they're paying for are literally automatic downloads to your computer. There's no way that's legal. Like, there's just no way. There's just no way that that's a legal thing they're doing. And the audacity, the audacity, bro. I wish I had the confidence Opera GX has, bro. I, I'd have at least $5 million by now. They show their accolades on the same screen where they just bugged my computer. 4.7 out of 5 stars. The Red Dot Award. What the fuck is the Red Dot Award? Yeah, the Opera GX Hitman is gonna put a red dot in my forehead before I see the light. And the IF Award. <laughs> like, literally, what does that mean? If I download Opera GX, everyone I love will leave me. I think that's the award they have. And I think probably the craziest part of this is if your download doesn't start automatically, please try again. Oh, don't you worry. It started automatically. Automatically, I had absolutely no consent to this download happening. You guys just let it happen, okay? Automatic. This is like having the audacity to show up uninvited to my birthday party, and when I say, hey, I don't think you're supposed to be here, you respond by saying, oh, no, it's okay. I, I understand you must have forgotten to invite me. Like, no, I just think you I don't want you here. Anyway, though, after this happened, I basically spent the next 40 minutes trying to find more info on Opera GX because I realized after this, th there must be more stuff that I don't know about the browser. Anyway, I saw this interaction go down recently on Twitter, and it felt too good not to recap here. So we have this person tweeting, this is where a high school diploma gets you. And it's uh, him posting, I think, his Twitter analytics. And then some guy responds by saying, you're flexing like nobody else could tweet random, ironic, quirky, gay shit behind a serious brand account and pull these numbers. Which is kind of true because he is affiliated with Opera GX. The OP responds with, go do it then. And then bro says, okay, give me access to the multi-million dollar brand account then. And then he gets blocked by Opera GX, man. Oh my god. We got a tattletale on our hands. But that is the Opera GX GX classic, okay? Block any account that says something negative about you. Literally their textbook move to respond to criticism. This one was crazy because Opera GX wasn't even involved in the conversation. Like, sure, the dude was beefing with someone who was affiliated with Opera GX on Twitter, but the account was not mentioned once, and yet they still went out of their way to block this guy. Like, damn, alright. Opera GX is mad AF. Even if you tell jokes, like you say, oh, the 
the GX stands for Great Xi Jinping because they sell their data to the Chinese Communist Party. Bro, they don't even like the jokes. They block you for jokes. Keep in mind, this is the same company that made jokes about Leafy's ex-girlfriend, like, keying his car or something. They were like, oh, she puts the W in women because she keyed the car of a guy who's, like, a, a cyber bully or something. Like, okay, Aubrey GX. So you can joke about that, like, literal crimes, but I joke about Great Xi Jinping. I get blocked. Like, okay, bro. Anyway, I've noticed that a lot of people have been speaking out against BetterHelp recently, one of these companies that sponsors a lot of YouTubers who actually has a lot of skeletons in their closet. Like, it's not a good company. And I would say Opera GX is kind of the same thing in terms of, like, skeletons in their closet. They sponsor a lot of YouTubers. I would like to see Opera GX get called out a lot more. That'd be cool. i seen this one video with almost 400,000 views called The Illegal Practices of Opera GX that has a pretty good like-to-dislike ratio, which is promising. I run Fiddler to see the requests run. All I see are either requests coming from sites such as Google or Opera's new personal geolocation grabber. This new geolocation grabber now shows that they only grab things such as your internet protocol, your country, and your exact timestamp. This wasn't the case with how data was handled months back, because back then they would log things such as your current local area. As well as that, they also changed what is included in their privacy policy. Over on legal.opera.com slash terms, they state that Opera does not claim ownership over any user-generated content. However, by submitting user-generated content on any service, including any ideas, concepts, know-how, or techniques described therein, you consent to Opera's unrestricted use of those items. With that, if you agree to Opera's terms, you have given them full right to use your data in any way that they find useful, no matter what Opera service you are actually using, including Opera GX. And with that, since Opera's parent company, Kunlun Tech, as well as their headquarters is located in China, they are required to give your data, no matter where you're from, to the CCP. CCP stands for Chinese Communist Party. And since Opera is located under Chinese territory, they are required to share certain data with China authorities on request. That means that if you have used Opera GX at least once since they take data on launch, they have likely given your data to the CCP. I've noticed that a lot of videos criticizing Opera GX have like a bad like to dislike ratio because I think people assume that if someone attacks Opera GX that they're also attacking the credibility of the creators that promote it, which isn't exactly true. The way that it works is that once a company is like well known to be bad by consumers and creators, then creators who will promote it from then on will be chastised for doing so. I think the best example of this is Timu. Timu is, is like shit. Like, it's so bad. And any creator who promotes Timu, every single comment on that video is like, bro promoted Timu skull emoji. Unsubbed. This actually happened to Noah Samson like nine months ago. He posted this video called YouTube Shorts, a cesspool of misogyny. And if you go to the video now, you will not find any Timu ad in the video as he removed the link to it and he used the YouTube editor to cut out the promo, but the comment section is just grilling the dude for promoting Timu. Like, yeah, it's a scam. And then recently, it seems like BetterHelp has reached this territory of being like a sponsorship lol cow, where anybody who promotes it gets chastised. I want Opera GX to get to that level. Obviously, I am cognizant of not disrupting the YouTube sponsorship economy. I don't want to rock the boat, but, um, you know, BetterHelp, not good. Opera GX, not good. That's kind of the, my, my main two ones I don't like. Anyway, if you guys ended up enjoying this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're at all new to the channel. Follow my social medias. Links are all down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.